Welcome to Story Adventures with Mrs. T. Today's book is about trains and the types of cars they pull. Trains by Gail Gibbons, published by Holiday House. Many kinds of trains move along the tracks. Clickety-clack, they are pulled by their powerful locomotives. The first locomotives were built about 150 years ago. The trains were pulled by steam engines. They used wood or coal for fuel. Today, some steam engines are still in use. There are also trains that have diesel engines. and others that are run by electricity. They all run on railroad tracks. Passenger trains carry people through subway tunnels around cities and to nearby towns. Some passenger trains stop at railroad stations and carry people to faraway towns and cities. Passengers can eat and sleep on the train. There are freight trains too. They carry heavy loads. Sometimes more than one engine is needed to pull a very long train. The cars are connected by couplers. Couplers hold cars together when one car is bumped into another. Pulling the uncoupling lever lets them come apart. Freight trains have lots of different cars. Flat cars haul many kinds of cargo. Refrigerator cars carry food that needs to be kept fresh. The hopper cars are hauling gravel and coal. The train stops. Grain is poured into the covered hopper cars. The train moves on. Piggyback cars are carrying truck trailers. Box cars and tank cars go by. The box cars are carrying furniture. The tank cars are carrying oil. These gondola cars are hauling scrap metal. The train stops. Grain is dumped from the covered hopper cars. The train moves on again. Three level rack cars roll by carrying shiny new cars. At the end of the train is the caboose. The caboose is for the train crew. There are all kinds of trains. It is fun to watch them go by. The end. Thanks for listening.